Hey guys, I know last time we had made a video about uh, home preparedness for the hurricane box or some type of emergency box. Um, today I just want to show you something else that I have in my garage that I oftentimes use in one of my classes that I teach uh, discussing solar power and energy and alternative methods of cooking. So I thought it'd be fun to make a, a quick little video uh, showing that today. So behind me, um, I've got a gigantic Fresno lens and I'm preheating my cast iron. So I'll give you a tour and explain kind of what's going on here. Okay, so what I have here is I've got just a cast iron skillet. Um, you can see that I've got a bucket underneath it, but I've, I've got that sandwiched uh, with bricks to prevent any heat from melting the plastic because this thing gets really hot. Um, and I'll try to give you a close up in a minute whenever I throw some, some food in there. Um, but what this is, is a, it's a gigantic Fresnel lens. Um, I simply was able to recover this from a large uh, screen TV um, and basically just built a frame for it so that I could hold it into position. So by doing it this way, it's concentrating all the light. It's just a gigantic magnifying glass. Um, so right now, all I am doing is preheating my cast iron because cast iron takes a while to heat up anyway. Uh, but smaller aluminums, uh, you know, if you have little aluminum pans or, or pots, those tend to heat up very, very quickly. So I'll give you a demonstration of uh, the cooking this thing will do in just a second. Oh yeah, you can still hear a little bit of the sizzling. You can see it's actually cooking on the top and the bottom. So the preheating gets the pan really hot and then the sun cooks the top of it and the pan cooks the bottom of it. So sometimes when I've cooked things like hamburgers, um, the, the top has actually cooked faster than the bottom, which is actually touching the pan. Whoa, there we go. So. It, it takes, it's different. It's definitely a different type of cooking than cooking in a, a solar oven or on a stove because you're cooking from both sides. So it's a lot of fun. I highly recommend uh, having one of these built or finding one or making one or something. It's a lot of fun. And it's fun with the kids. Oh, cooking update. Be very careful. You can actually burn food in this. So uh, make sure you rotate your food. This is not a set and forget like a solar oven can be. Uh, make sure you keep an eye on this thing. Oh, and another word of advice, um, don't leave this thing unattended either because you can start your grass on fire. So watch this with these. All right, guys, it looks like our food's just about done and I'm hungry, I'm starving. So this is it. This is our little Fresno cooker. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know and I'll answer them as best I can. I pretty much speaks for itself. Just don't leave this thing unattended. Like I said, you can really just burn stuff down really quickly. All right. Thanks again. Bye.